Ever wondered how much water it takes to cool giant AI data centers? In the Gulf, they could use over 400 billion liters a year by 2030, more than enough to supply millions of people. So, with barely any fresh water around, how will these tech hubs survive? How big is this data center boom? From 2020 to now, data centers in the Gulf have exploded. There are around 280 data centers across the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. That includes 42 in Saudi Arabia and 56 in the UAE. And they aren't stopping. Saudi Arabia alone is planning AI factories that use crazy amounts of computer power, like hundreds of thousands of GPUs. That's a lot of machines. Now these machines get hot, so they need cooling systems to stop them from overheating. Here's the thing, cooling uses a ton of water. By 2030, data centers in the Gulf could be using over 400 billion liters of water every year. To put that in perspective, that's enough to supply millions of people. What do you think? Can a place with almost no natural water handle this? The Gulf countries are some of the driest places on Earth. Rainfall is almost zero, less than 100 millimeters a year. On top of that, it gets super hot, sometimes over 50 degrees Celsius. That means any water evaporates fast, and there's no fresh water coming back. Most of the water in the Gulf comes from desalination, turning seawater into drinking water. But desalination uses a lot of energy, and it's expensive. There's a crazy fact. People in the UAE, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia use over 500 liters of water per day each. That's triple what people in Europe use. So the water is already stretched thin, and now data centers want to take even more. How long do you think this can last without causing big problems? To reduce the huge water demand for cooling, some smart methods are being tested in the Gulf. One of the most promising is immersion cooling, where computers are dipped in special liquids instead of being cooled by air. This method uses almost no water right at the computer level, which is a big improvement over traditional cooling systems. It's still new but could make a big difference. Another approach is rear door heat exchangers, which are like powerful fans attached to the back of computer racks. They help remove heat more efficiently, reducing the amount of water needed for cooling. Then there's district cooling, which works like a giant shared air conditioner for multiple buildings or data centers. By using a central cooling plant, it cuts down energy and water use, making the whole system more efficient. Some places are also reusing treated wastewater or seawater instead of fresh water to help cool data centers, saving precious clean water. Even with these new technologies, the Gulf's water problem isn't solved yet. While these methods reduce water use, the demand from growing data centers keeps rising fast. The region's natural water scarcity means there's a real risk of running out unless bigger changes happen soon. What happens if water runs out? If water demand in the Gulf keeps rising at the current pace, experts warn that by 2027 it could go beyond what the region can supply. Even though the Gulf countries have built the largest desalination plants in the world, they may not be able to keep up with both population needs and the exploding demand from data centers. Water scarcity isn't just a future problem, it's already knocking on the door and the clock is ticking. If things don't change, there's a real risk that water shortages could start affecting the operation of data centers. These massive AI hubs depend on stable cooling systems, and without enough water, they could face serious downtime or be forced to slow down expansion plans. For countries betting big on becoming global tech leaders, this could mean missing out on billions of dollars in economic growth and falling behind in the global AI race. But it doesn't stop there. The environmental impact could be huge. Relying heavily on desalination, especially when it's powered by gas, means more emissions and more stress on marine ecosystems. Desalination also produces salty waste that often gets dumped back into the sea, harming marine life. If more water is needed, more desalination will follow, pushing the environment further out of balance. All of this raises an uncomfortable question. Is it really worth building more and more AI factories if the region might run out of water to support them? Without serious changes in how water is managed and used, the dream of leading the world in AI could turn into a serious crisis, one that money alone can't fix. What needs to be done? There isn't a simple fix to the Gulf's water problem, but some smart solutions could help keep the AI and data center growth alive. One promising idea is to combine data centers with desalination plants. The computers generate a lot of heat, and instead of wasting that heat, 
It can be reused to power the process of turning seawater into fresh water. This way, energy and water get used more efficiently, which could be a game changer for the region. Another important step is to switch more desalination plants to solar power instead of gas or other fossil fuels. The Gulf has plenty of sunshine, so using solar energy to run these plants would reduce pollution and lower the carbon footprint. Cleaner energy means a more sustainable water supply and better support for the growing tech industry. It's a win-win for both the environment and technology. Transparency is also key. Governments should require data centers to openly report how much water they use. This would create pressure to cut down on waste and encourage companies to find better, more efficient ways to cool their machines. Tracking water use closely can help make sure the region meets its environmental goals while still growing its tech sector. Finally, investing more money in new technologies is essential. Research into zero water cooling systems, improved desalination methods, and other innovations needs serious funding to bring costs down and make these solutions widely available. Without fast action and smart investments, the Gulf risks hitting a wall where water shortages stop its AI ambitions in their tracks. Why should anyone care? This isn't just a Gulf problem. The Gulf region is trying to be a global leader in AI and technology. If they can't solve the water issue, it could slow down progress not only there but also in the wider Middle East and Africa. Plus, water scarcity can lead to social and economic problems. People need water to live, and if industries like data centers take too much, it could cause conflicts. What do you think? Should tech growth wait until water problems are fixed? Or should new ideas just keep pushing forward? Building big AI data centers sounds cool and futuristic, but it's important to remember that water is a real, limited resource, especially in a desert region like the Gulf. Without smart planning, investments in better technology, and clean energy, these data centers might end up being a big waste. So, the big question is, can the Gulf find a balance between its tech dreams and the harsh reality of water scarcity? It's something to keep an eye on. The future of AI in the Gulf might depend more on water than on chips. Thanks for watching. If this topic interests you, what's your take on balancing technology with natural resources? Drop your thoughts below. Would love to hear what you think. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.